All right, if you saw my last video, this LP Cool refrigerator freezer, it's gonna be a really, really good unit. I'm gonna keep this out on the back patio to keep water and drinks in it. And then when I'm on the road, I'll just keep it in the truck, run it off 12 volts. So this morning, what I wanted to show you and talk about a little bit is these four kilovolt lithium batteries down here. And what I'm gonna talk about is number one, I suck inside air, air conditioned air into the box. And I was out here piddle dinking around and checked the uh, BMS and the temperature got up about 90, 91 on the batteries. I was like, what's going on here? So pulled the box out. Turns out that little five inch blower computer style fan that had in there was seized up. No worky worky. Thankfully I have another one installed and it's working great. And I lowered the voltage down half a volt to 13 volts running that fan which blows air into the box from the inside of the house. And it's working good. As you can see the battery temps are about 78.6. Good to go. Good to go. All right, what I want to show you is state of charge. This is the kilovolt app, and it is 6.15 in the morning right now, and it's reading about 14% state of charge. And what I wanted to do was, with the midnights, this is a local status panel right here, where you can configure stuff on the classics. I wanted it to match what the actual no kidding BMS on the battery is saying what the state of charge is. And look, looky here. 14, baby. You wanna know how I did that? So I went into the local status panel advanced function here and just lowered the capacity of the amp hours down to 550. Now, as rated 600 amp hour total for these four batteries and if you take the 550 and multiply it by 24 you get whoops wrong one 13.2 kilowatt hours at you know full discharge which would normally be if it was rated uh, as what they say it is should be 14.4 but that's not a big deal per se you know, with temperature going on and voltage fluctuations, this could be closer to 14 or more. Uh, I don't think there's any less because just the way I run them, that's about what I'm pulling off these batteries when I'm discharging. And I'm not even taking them all the way down either. You know, just for cycle life. Probably about, I don't know, 10 maybe 11 kilowatt hours is what I'm pulling off this battery bank right down here it, which is cool which is and I could probably take them down just a little bit more but you know I'm working the heck out of the system with running a window unit keeping the house nice and cool and that company that was supposed to come and you know I had a date right here for 4 of June Thursday 8 to 12 these guys never showed up to go and do a tune up on my main house HVAC system and the neighbors are saying yeah I don't even use those guys because they suck <laughs> I was like okay that's good I'm glad they didn't show up right so there's a little tweak and the last thing I wanted to show you all is that remember how it's having the voltage you know, these are battery one battery two battery three battery four all these voltages are staying nice and consistent which they were doing before until they got up into the uh, full state of charge and they did some really wacky stuff. They're still doing that a little bit and I've got everything set per kilovolt manufacturer voltage charging parameters. I mean, dead on what the factory says to do. For some reason, now if you go into this app right here, and this is battery number one, sitting at 13. 
then you look at battery number four on the other side of the battery bank. Don't, 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 don't. Sorry about the connecting thing here. It'll, it'll connect sometime, sometime in here. See, it's saying 13%. And they're all consistent now. All the stated charges are consistent. So I don't know what happened. It kind of worked itself out. The batteries are smarter than me, I guess. But there you have it. It's running good. Running really good. And I've got another project I'm working on. My bedroom roll-around solar power box. You know, the one that looks like an army color deal. Um, Battleborn. I got four Battleborn batteries and they've been on order since May 18th. So they're just back ordered and uh, high demand on those batteries. So yeah, I'm kind of upset, but you know, all good things wait, you know, have some patience. And I also got a uh, new inverter charger for that box too. So the goal is to about four kilo four plus kilowatt hours on that roll around deal. And then lastly over here, you know, if you're into these Bluetooth ammo can speakers, this is Bob Barker. And I'm just doing some you know, fine tuning on the bass and stuff. But the one thing I did was added a 10 inch O-ring speaker gasket off of another speaker so I can get a little bit more distance so when this woofer is flopping, I don't want to hit the steel grill here. And I got a good another half inch, I probably got about a good over, eh, pretty close to three quarters inch separation. There's no way it's gonna, the speaker's gonna hit, slap against this grill anymore. But this thing sounds great. Serious power on that, so. All right, there you have it. Got the lawn lowered yesterday and uh, looking to do some trips here before too long, get in the truck, roll out, visit family and friends, and uh, have at it. Have a great weekend. Thanks for watching my videos. And uh, you know, there's never a bad video. You know, you may not like this video, and it may not be what you like, or maybe you see something that, it, that you don't like. Well, then don't do it. <laughs> you don't watch the video. Uh, you know, I, I always say there's no bad video out there, just bad people, because even a bad video can help out the next guy, show them what not to do with their builds and their passions and what they do and what they've experienced and learned with their systems. And I've been doing this, I've had this up since, what, 2013 I started working on this, six, seven years, been perfecting my passion my art so you know what's your passion you know what drives you what makes you happy enough negative in this world to freaking spoon feed a toddler <laughs> so get that toxic crap out of your brain and start doing stuff that makes you smile and happy and take care of the ones you love all right guys take care